Chapter 5, The Second Law of Money After 12 months, Algamish returned to check on me. Son, have you been paying yourself not less than one-tenth of all you have earned? Proudly I answered, Yes, Master, I have. It was hard at first, but I'm used to it now. He then said, That's good. And what have you done with your savings? I replied, I entrusted my savings to Asmor, the brickmaker, who is now traveling in the far seas and Tyre. He will buy for me the rare jewels of the Phoenicians, and when he returns, we shall sell the jewels at high prices and divide the earnings. Algamish frowned and growled at me. Every fool must learn his lesson. Son, do you know anything about jewels? I answered, no. He continued, then why did you get into that business? And this Asmor, does he know anything about jewels? Why trust the knowledge of a brickmaker about jewels? Would you go to the breadmaker to ask about the stars? No, you go to the astrologer. Your savings are gone. You have jerked up the roots of your wealth tree. I was sick in my stomach to hear those words. I closed my eyes as I imagined Asmur throwing all my savings into a bottomless pit. Then I heard Algamish say something in a kinder voice. But you know, son, our mistakes teach us great lessons. Go plant another wealth tree. Remember, advice is given away freely, but watch that you take only what is worth having. He who takes advice about saving from one who is inexperienced in such matters shall pay a big price. Watch out also for those who promise you big and quick earnings, for if it seems too good to be true, it is too good to be true. After saying those words, he left. Algamish was right about my foolishness. Asmur came back with worthless bits of glass that looked like gems. Trusting this brickmaker's knowledge about gems was like hitting my head with bricks. But I was not about to give up my dream of becoming rich. I continued to pay myself first so I can plant my next wealth tree. And I never, ever forgot the second law of money. Get into a business that you understand and seek advice only from those who are competent because of their own experience. Arkad's friends shook their heads and they started narrating their own experiences of getting into something they didn't understand and following the advice of the wrong people. Then all eyes and ears were back on Arkad as he continued his story.